Hey guys, and welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Last time we took on the urgent quest and finished off the Legagris, and today, uh, well, things are, uh, things are looking a little bit south for the moment. If you guys, uh, noticed the cutscene earlier, you would have noticed that, uh, the Legagris, who we initially thought was causing all the earthquakes around Moga Village, uh, we defeated him, but the earthquakes are still still coming around so uh we gotta figure out uh what is going on here and also if you're looking carefully here we are lacking a certain uh shakalaka to help us out so uh we're actually uh we're down a person right now so uh i'm just gonna speed through these real quick uh let's see all right there's him Oh yeah, there there is actually a bunch of people that uh, that want to talk to you at this point. It's um, uh, personally, I find it a little bit annoying at this point. Uh, also, I I just noticed it. Uh, you might have taken a split second to see it, but uh, we have a new a book that we can get. So real quick, I'm gonna go grab that. It is the pack rack guide, and that just increases your max inventory space. So yeah, I believe that actually is all that's left for increasing your inventory space. I'm not sure. But, uh, okay, so the, it's mostly just talk around the village about the earthquake. Uh, at this point, I believe with uh, one of the next quests we have to do will uh, involve uh, getting the Legiacris to spawn on Free Hunt. Uh, let's see, I'm just taking a look here. I do need to go in here and uh, drop some things off. I did try a little bit of grinding. Uh, and let's see. Oh, no. Don't want to don't wanna do that. And so I also need some traps too. Because I know what uh, mission we're going to be doing next. And uh, we are going to be capturing a Legacris this time around. Uh, yes, I know I said before that uh, I don't do uh, repeat quests, or actually quests with a repeat monster, but in this case, it's it's one of those required quests, so I have to do this one. I don't want to, but, uh, you know, can't, uh, can't have everything, unfortunately. All right, real quick, I also need... Um, uh, I need a couple of traps, or trap tools. I'm going to send those over to my item box, so I can make a couple of shock traps. Uh, the capture quests in the, of themselves uh, kind of make me a little bit nervous. Because if you kill said monster, then, uh, well, uh, then you fail a quest. So, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm sort of gonna over-prepare this time around. Uh, let's see. Uh, I was hoping I'd have more Thunderbugs than that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bring everything I have with me. And with any luck, I won't need to use that Thunderbug at all. And so, uh, without Cha Cha here, we are doing this quest solo. And this is where well, things can get a little bit tense. Also, we have access to the Volcano Zone. Which uh, we might be doing on the next quest. Alright, so the Lord of the Seas. And this is going to make me uh, extremely nervous here. And it's because of the little guy Chris and the Kabul is the reason why I don't like swimming in murky water. Like, at all. Alright, and it's a good thing too that the, uh, the camp is so uh, generous and that they will supply us with uh, a trap and some Trank Bombs. Alright, we are ready to take this guy down. Or, capture him, actually. So, just gonna take this little shortcut here. I believe you find him in Area 6. Oh, yeah, there he is. Uh, and this time around... Has he even seen me yet? Okay, now he has. So I am, um, I just hit on my Wii U gamepad the, uh, the monster lock-on feature. And, okay, I'm just, I'm sort of trying to relearn my controls here because I've been playing, uh, a lot of other games. Oh, get away from me. 
But if I hit the uh, hit the L button to recenter my camera, it automatically targets onto the monster. So I'm going to be using this primarily for the uh, underwater fights, or at least attempting to. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks pretty nifty. Uh, again, I, I mentioned already that I don't typically use it. It's uh, on land. It just messes up my camera angle, which uh, I don't like. So, uh, since this is, this is a capture quest, it's it's pretty much the same fight. Only this time, you can't kill this guy. Not not saying that uh, that you physically can't kill him because you can. You don't want to. And uh, because of my whole OCD and my my love for murder monsters, anyway, th this is why I won't play uh, Undertale because I just I know I will kill everything. Be uh, so that that OCD factor, I really want to kill this guy, but I just I can't. All right, I'm just I'm just trying to think: is, is there any new information on the Legiacris that's worth sharing? Because uh, oh boy. Get away, get away. Alright. I pretty much covered the Legiacris, uh, during the first two times we took him on, which was the repel quest and the actual killing quest. So, I really don't, there's nothing new for this guy right now. Which, uh, so my commentary might suck a little bit. Oh boy. What is he doing? And I, I really don't like that little sweeping claw attack that he does right there when he goes to turn to uh, face the hunter. Obviously, because it does chip damage. And already, I think only one or two attacks of his have actually made me uh, go flying, but I believe most of the damage... Oh, shit. That's not good. Most of it's been chipped. All right, Thunder Blight, uh, don't want to get hit by something that's going to knock me over. Otherwise, there is, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but there is a chance I could be, uh, I could be stunned. So, I do have Null Berries, but I never, I repeat, I never use Null Berries, or just any sort of, uh, recovering of item, or, um, or buff item outside of potions and antidotes. Even even then, if it's on like a super hard monster, then I, I'm almost guaranteed to use it right away. Oh, he's pissed. Also, there was a comment on uh, one of my videos about uh, uh, how can you tell when a monster is in rage? Well, first off, most large monsters, they roar. If that happens, then it's very likely that uh, they're very angry at you and they're in rage mode. Uh, one of the exceptions is, uh, I think, the Giganox, which that guy will roar pretty much whenever he wants to. With Legai Chris, it's uh, it's pretty obvious. He's, uh, oh boy, I, I hate this attack. Okay. With Legai Chris, it's pretty obvious. He just roars out of nowhere. And as you can see, he's getting much faster, much more aggressive. And I think his eye color might have changed a little bit. Not, or not so, uh, not so much eye color, but uh, probably the intensity of the color has changed a little bit. That could be just me, though. It's just something that I noticed when I was just looking at his face in one of the uh, camera angles. And so the guy Chris himself, I believe, can. Uh, oh boy, real not good. Uh, he could go into uh, area 6, 5, and definitely 4. When he's in area 4, that's when he goes onto land, normally. So, sort of the same rule as the Kabul. However, he might be able to go into areas uh, 3... Oh, God. I ran out of space to move. Uh, but he could probably go into areas 3 and 2. I'm not sure. And I thought I rolled there. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. How did I live through that? Holy shit. Alright, so uh, make a potion to the rescue. And, oh yeah, I keep forgetting about the oxygen meter. Uh, most of the time, whenever I'm playing something in water, 
Like, the oxygen meter is a second thought. Like, I almost always forget about it. Uh, okay. Oh, there's some bubbles. Fuck these bubbles! Okay, just gonna go over here, get some more, uh, get some more air, and we can continue fighting. Now, typically, when the uh, Legaiacris is moving around, just sort of idly uh, checking you out for that sort of period of time, that usually means that he's going to do a charge attack at you. Uh, okay, now, next thing I need is... Okay, easy whetstone. And I still have my same skills as when I first fought him, so the speed setup, the speed sharpening, I have all those. So, a great set of skills to have when <laughs> fighting something underwater. Alright. Oh man, he is just loving to swim around a lot. Oh no, go away. I'm not going to try to break his horns, because I don't think I'm going to go for Legaikus materials in, uh, in this run. I haven't quite, uh, quite thought about it. I might just go with Kuropeko through all the way to the end. Again, something I've just thought about, and I haven't quite decided yet. Now, uh, uh some of you might th be thinking, like, why the Kuropeko armor? Well, uh, if you guys have been following me since from, like, day one, which was, like, all of maybe five people, then, uh, you might have remembered that I have a, uh, a buddy named uh, Zach Murray. And this guy is, uh, he is something, he is a character, and he always attacked p all monsters in, in our group hunts wearing a Kuropeko armor using the Kuropeko hammer. It do doesn't matter what monster it was or what rank that monster was. It could have been high rank, he was still using low rank Kuropeko armor. And yes, he got his ass kicked a lot, but you know, he was always in there, he was always trying, and he was always fighting, so... Uh, Zach, if you're watching, I highly doubt you are anymore, but, um... Uh, dude... You are... you're ballsy, but also stupid. So, uh, I'm wearing this armor in the spirit of Zach Murray. Okay, uh, going back to the Legagris here... Man, he's using this attack way too much, he's almost spamming it. That's how bad it is. Okay, and uh, he is nowhere close to being exhausted yet, just from the looks of it. But you never know, he might go into rage mode once more, and then uh, then he will be ready to uh, be exhausted and then get his ass handed to him. Because again, he, he's going to go into Area 4 and then go on to land when, uh, when he's ready to uh, start recovering from Stanima. And stop hitting me with the back of your hand, I mean, seriously. It's like a pimp slap. Alright, flinched again. Oh, uh, he looks like he's in ri Yep, he is. Uh, another thing, I just, I noticed there, by the way that he turned, just gave me the indication that, yeah, this guy is pissed. So it's sort of like a, it's sort of like monster behavior, like monster psychology or something. There's uh, certain things about uh, large monsters that make them very predictable. In fact, small monsters can actually be less predictable than these guys. Just on occasion, not all the time. And with any luck, uh, the little guy Chris will use his large area of effect attack, which that's something... It's kind of rare that he uses it, but it's a just a beautiful looking attack. Really sucks to be hit by it though. And again, I don't think he just doesn't use it all that often. Really disappointing. Oh boy. Empowered Oh, here we go. This is it. Oh, that it's beautiful, but also be careful. 
because even if you're far away, you could still be hit by that attack. It is brutal. And also, it's uh, because it's an electric attack, it also causes uh, Thunder Blight. So, uh, be very careful against this guy. Oh. Ow. Oh boy. I'm gonna use a Mega Potion here for safety. With, uh, any luck. I just, uh... Gotta make sure this guy is, like, nowhere near me. There we go. Alright, what is he doing? Oh, he might be exhausted. Alright, so as he's going into uh, Area 4, I am going to take this time out to get as many hits on him as possible before he goes on the land. Because I believe he makes a beeline. Or maybe not. Oh, okay, yeah. He is, uh, you're not going anywhere. Okay, I'm surprised I haven't broken off this, uh, uh, I guess uh, the little spines on his back. I keep forgetting exactly what they are. They, they look like crystals. Also, uh, I believe with that tail uh, flick of his, it might be able to cause water blight if you're hit by it. I, not, I'm not entirely sure, but I do remember there's one monster that can do that. And if I remember right, it typically causes water blight, and that's, that's annoying. Okay, I might need to tone down my attacks a little bit. Because um, he might be ready to be captured. I am not sure. Uh, there is a skill that uh, lets you figure out where the, the monster is in terms of uh, capture ability. But uh, I have no idea. Uh, well, I don't have it, so I have no idea when he can be captured. So I'm going to set one up right now and just do a test. Oh boy. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, sh that is, uh... That's a shock trap, not trank bombs. Okay, okay, there. There we go. Uh, I was considering just, uh, going off and, uh, hitting him some more. But that probably might have killed him. So, uh, if you're not sure when a monster is ready to be captured, then, uh, it's a good idea to do kind of like a test. So, overstock on some traps. Just, uh, you know, something... Something to keep in mind. Otherwise, you know, the potential to kill him is just... It's up there. Anyway, so, uh, let's see. Wow, got a lot. Uh, probably... Yeah, a couple scales. No, uh, no Lugiacris plate, so, um... That's disappointing. Anyways, I'm not sure what we're doing next, but, uh... Well, it's gonna be fun, I hope. And I will see you then. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time. Take care.